importance of relationships between variables. Before drawing a conclusion, you should first understand how one variable changes with the other. This means you need to establish how the variables are related. Is the relationship linear or quadratic or inverse or logarithmic or something else? There are three types of relationship. The first one is the linear relationship, which consists of positive and negative relationship. Second is the unrelated relationship. And the third one is the nonlinear relationship. Let us discuss first linear relationship. What is linear relationship? I will show you three different pictures of a graph. Which of the graph shows linear relationship? Is it graph A, B, or C? Is it A? Is it B? Okay, if your answer is both A and B, then your answer is correct. A and B shows a linear relationship, and the third graph is not a linear relationship. Okay, let us define linear relationship. Linear relationships between variables can generally be represented and explained by a straight line on a scatter plot. It is one where increasing or decreasing one variable n times will cause a corresponding increase or decrease of n times in the other variable too. If you double one variable, the other will double as well. Linear relationships are not limited to physical phenomena but are frequently encountered in all kinds of scientific research and methodologies. An understanding of linear relationships is essential to understand these relationships between variables. And linear relationships are the easiest to understand and study in a number of very important physical phenomena. It is a trend in the data that can be modeled by a straight line. It's mentioned that a linear relationship can be modeled by a straight line. Going back with our example, these first two graphs having a straight line are example of linear relationship. The first one which is going up and the other one which is going down. If a straight line on the graph travels upwards from left to right, it has a positive linear relationship. It shows a steady rate of increase. If a straight line on the graph travels downwards from left to right, it has a negative linear relationship. There are two types of linear relationship, the positive and the negative. What do you think is the difference between the two? Given the two graphs shown in this video, which do you think has a positive linear relationship and which do you think has a negative linear relationship? Is A positive and B negative? Or is A negative and B positive? Okay, let's find out. Positive relationship is a relationship between two variables in which both variables move in tandem that is in the same direction. It exists when one variable decreases as the other variable decreases, or one variable increases while the other one increases. It is very important to understand the relationship between variables to draw the right conclusions. Even the best scientists can get this wrong. And there are several instances of how studies get correlation and causation mixed up. Positive relationship implies an increase of one quantity causes an increase in the other. It means that the two variables are directly proportional. Let us have a positive correlation or a positive relationship in finance. A simple example of positive correlation or positive relationship involves the use of an interest-bearing savings account with a set of interest rate. The more money that is added to the account, whether through new deposits or earned interest, the more interest that can be accrued. Similarly, a rise in the interest rate will correlate with the rise in interest generated, while a decrease in the interest rate causes a decrease in actual interest accrued. Positive correlation or positive relationship describes the relationship between two variables that change together. Let's take another example. When an employee works more hours, his paycheck increases proportionately. You can notice the word more hours and paycheck increases, 
more and increases. And we can say that there is a positive relationship between the two. Another example, the more gasoline you put in your car, the farther it can go. And the other one, the more time you spend running on a treadmill, the more calories you will burn. from left to right, it means it is positive. Always remember that if a straight line on the graph travels upwards from left to right, it means it has a positive linear relationship. Let us talk about the negative relationship or the negative correlation. When we say negative relationship, it is a relationship between two variables in which one variable increases as the other one decreases and vice versa. It is a relationship between two variables whereby they move in opposite directions, which is also known as inverse relationship. It means that there is an inverse relationship between two variables. When one variable decreases, the other one increases. The vice versa is a negative correlation too, in which one variable increases as the other one decreases. Let us have an example of a negative correlation or a negative relationship. These are common in the investment world. A well-known example is the negative correlation between crude oil prices and the airline stock prices. Jet fuel, which is derived from crude oil, is a large cost input for airlines and has a negative impact on their profitability and earnings. If the price of crude oil spikes up, it could have a negative impact on airlines' earnings and hence on the price of their stocks. But if the price of crude oil trends lower, this should boost airline profits and therefore their stock prices. An inverse correlation describes the relationship between two variables which change in opposing directions. Inverse correlation is sometimes described as negative correlation. Let us have other example of negative relationship. First, as humidity increases, the people's desire to be outside may decrease. Another one, as the temperature decreases, more heaters are purchased. Another one, if the temperatures outside decrease dramatically, heating bills will increase. Notice the opposing trend between two variables, which is, if the other one increases, the other one decreases. Let us now proceed with the nonlinear relationship. What is nonlinear relationship? Which of the following graph shows a nonlinear relationship? Is it A, B, or C? Is it C? If your answer is C, then your answer is correct. Nonlinear relationship. Nonlinear relationship is any relationship between two quantities that doesn't fit the definition of a linear relationship. Not linear, which means by doubling one variable, the other variable will not double. Nonlinear relationship between variables can be represented and explained by a line on a scatter plot that is not straight but curved in some way. Any relationship between two quantities that doesn't fit the definition of a linear relationship is called nonlinear relationship. The easiest way to differentiate a linear relationship from a nonlinear relationship is by, is by mapping them on a graph. It is fundamental to most physical and statistical phenomena and their study is more important to fully understand the world around. Let's take an example of nonlinear relationship. The side of a square and its area are not linear. In fact, this is a quadratic relationship. If you double the side of a square, its area will increase four times. Next, while charging a capacitor, the amount of charge and the time are nonlinearly dependent. Thus, 
the capacitor is not twice as charged after 2 seconds as it was after 1 second. This is an exponential relationship and not a linear relationship. What have you noticed in this example of graph? Definitely, it is not a straight line, but you can notice that these are modeled by a curved line. Unlike the linear relationship having a straight line, in nonlinear relationship, the graph are modeled by a curved line. Even though nonlinear relationships are much more complicated than linear ones, they can be studied in their own right. If you're studying this, you should first see if they fit any standard shapes like parabolas or exponential curves. These are commonly occurring relationships between variables. A number of nonlinear relationships are monotonic in nature. This means they do not oscillate and steadily increase or decrease. This is good to study because they behave qualitatively like linear relationships for a number of cases. Let us now proceed with the last type of relationship between variables, which is unrelated relationship. What is unrelated relationship? Unrelated relationships indicate that no relationship is seen between the changes in the two variables. It means that two variables do not follow the same or opposite trends together. Unrelated relationships or Unrelated correlation have no systematic relationship. The changes in one variable simply not, are not related to the changes of the other variable. They are called unrelated relationships simply because one variable is not related with the other variable. Let's have the example of unrelated relationship. The price of milk and the price of pens have zero correlation with each other. Another one is the weight and height and size of television versus average time spent watching TV in a week. These are examples of unrelated relationship. These are examples of graphs of unrelated relationship. And what have you noticed? Is it increasing or decreasing? Well, as you can see, it is almost a scattered graph. It is because of its unrelated relationship, meaning to say, one variable doesn't affect the other variable. The average score will not affect the period, or the shoe size doesn't affect the score, meaning to say, there is no relationship between the two variables. Let's take a quiz. I'll show you different examples of a graph and then you're going to classify them whether it is positive relationship, negative relationship, nonlinear relationship, or unrelated relationship. Are you ready for the quiz? Okay, good luck students.